Good morning, everybody. This is my Cleome. She is very beautiful, but right now she's about pewtered out. I purchased this from a Garden Masters sales in Wadawi, Alabama. And it's very beautiful. It's just given me a whole bunch of flowers starting at the bottom of the base. Right here you can see this was where it originally started and then it went to seed. These are all the seed pods and it kept on flowering all the way up. You can see from the tip and it still has more flowers and it'll keep on growing. So it's been giving me uh, flowers quite a bit this whole summer. I am in the process of collecting seeds and I thought I'd just show you the quick process. Very simple, I just grab a plastic container. These are the seeds that I've already um, um, pulled from the pod. You can see they come off readily. I mean, it'll basically show you when it's ready, so there's really no guessing game. You can look here. These are the seed pods. And see how they're browned and pewtered out? So basically all you have to do, I'm gonna put this here. So we'll catch, sorry, I know the grass needs to be trimmed. We have planted grass around this whole area, let me show you. So now it's no longer just red clay. Um, but the thing is, this grass has a tendency to send uh, runners. I think this is a Bermuda grass, and we probably should not have put in Bermuda grass because it's running all over my garden. It's taking over my garden, you can see here. So we're going to have to try to snuff it out in the garden area and then continue to uh, hopefully you can see some scratches that are still coming in. And then there's other areas that are more luscious than others. So sorry, backtracking. So basically all I do is I just grab it and then I just pull it like this. You can see all the seeds will just fall off and then I just put it in the container. Now, you can let it self-seed, which it does amazingly well. I don't have any over here, but I did have one that sprouted up. Uh, I want to show you, where was it? And I definitely did not plant this here. Let me see if I can find it. Hang on a second. Okay, here it is. So if you let it self-seed, here is a little baby one that has grown. You can see it's very um, young. This is the plant right here that's self-seeded. And it's starting to bloom. So they are very low maintenance. I would definitely recommend this if you don't mind just having one and kind of letting it do its thing and eventually it will self seed in your garden and then wherever you don't want it you can just uproot it and move it somewhere else this one here is very aged you can see it's like falling apart but inside the seed pods right there it's ready to be harvested so I just pull the plant out and all the seed comes apart and that is how I collect my seeds for my Cleome plant. This one you can see here is about ready. This one is not. It's still green. You can see the difference. And sometimes, see like here, you just touch it and it opens up for you. So that's when you know and I just gently pull it. And get all the seeds. And then I can plant that. Since we have some acreage to spare, I am just going to let these go everywhere and see how well they take. These ones are all ready to go. You can see as soon as you pull them apart, they just come off. Like this one right here. Just grab it and pull. And generally when I do this with two hand, it goes a little bit quicker, but it doesn't take too long. And you can do multiple at once if you want to. And this is the simple process of collecting seeds. Like I said, you can just let it be and it'll self-seed. 
but if you want this to be somewhere else without having to dig it up and transplanting it this is probably the fastest and easiest way to do it stripping them of their seed pods and I will spread some just along here too to get more. Now you can see new seed pods coming in. These ones are a lot younger and greener as opposed to the one on the bottom. So I'll leave these. So if you don't like Cleome, I would definitely not recommend getting this plant because one, it does readily self-seed. And you can see from the base of the stem here, these are all seed pods. So you get some at the base here, and then you get another section here, and then you can see you can get another section here, and it may even grow some more from where the flowers I have more seeds right there too. So one calyx or whatever, like what you call this one stem, can produce quite a few uh, sets of seeds. So you, if you don't like this plant, I would definitely recommend not planting any at all. Otherwise, you're going to be picking these from your garden if you are planning on just having one. You're going to have to either redig them up because they self seed, or you're going to spend your whole time trying to collect these seeds so that they don't spread everywhere in your garden. I think that is it. I have pretty much collected all the seed pods that are aged and mature. Look at all that seed. Can you guys believe that? All these flowers, you can have them. So I might just do a section in the garden just full of Cleome. And see how that turns out next year. The only thing is I've run out of space. Yes, we're going to have to rent a bobcat and an excavator and leveled out some more some more area. We're actually looking at doing that again this following springtime. Opening up more of the property because you can see I'm going to pan out real quick. So sorry if those of you who get dizzy. There's trees all around us. So I think what we're going to do is take down more trees and then open up more space so I can garden in. But yeah, this is my garden and this is how you collect Cleoma seeds. Oh, let me show you. These are amaranth, aren't they beautiful? Beautiful amaranth right here. These, uh, I just spread the seeds and you can see I did not put them in trays and grow them in a tray and then transplant them. I just put them right into the ground and they've taken very well. Pretty how they look out here in the garden. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoy your day. Have a great weekend everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.